I think we found somebody who likes the new heater more than I do. She's been sitting here the whole time. But like she hides her face like this so that the air doesn't blow on her face. This is the coffee creamer that I use and it's really cute. I really like it. It's the so nice um, French vanilla, no artificial ingredients, soy a beverage because I'm trying to not drink dairy and it tastes really, really good. So if you see this around on in your local grocery store, definitely give it a shot. Ugh, snow, go away. No, it's happening. It's gonna start. You sit, sit, sit. High five, high five. Oh, double high five. Hi, hi, thank you. Thank you. shipping yet again i cannot believe how much shipping that i've had to do and how many sales that i've been making recently literally look at this i've been at this for again two hours and look at that pile there's literally 20 there like i need 20 the day before and 20 the day before i'm literally shook like i guess it's just the christmas rush but i mean it's a good thing you know so i'm just kind of trying to catch up as best as i can right now and i'm gonna take it to the post office and that's just an update for now Hello guys and welcome to vlogmas day number seven. I actually, it's actually like four o'clock already. I've been shipping and working and doing a bunch of stuff today that I needed to get done. I'm planning some different videos to film for you guys. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to just do like this video as a Q and a, Q &A get ready with me. So I'm about to get ready because I'm gonna go to the thrift store and probably film a trip to the thrift. Possibly we'll see so I thought it would be like fun to just do like a little get ready with me and That will be in Q&A and that will be like today's vlogmas type of video. I'm so out of breath I've been running up and down the stairs So I'm um, let's go get ready. I was going to do this as a get ready with me, but I Answered all these questions and I got ready and honestly look at the footage and I'm like this is so boring like I need to I need to just talk to you guys without doing my makeup right now. So I'm going to re-answer all these questions that I had already answered. And I'm going to do a Q&A for today's Vlogmas. I think I already told you guys that in the previous clip. But it's Vlogmas Day 7 and I've been just doing a lot of work today. And sometimes I just can't film. I just got to get it done. So I'm going to answer these questions. I asked you guys on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow my Instagram. It's at Threads Obsess. But without further ado, let's get into these questions. Okay, starting off with question number one chloe fox asks what is your biggest pet peeve people chewing people chewing loud i actually can't be in the same room if you're chewing or chewing loud like it actually drives it drives me bonkers like i can't handle it like anybody everybody i hate it okay the next question is from alice weed wedman she asked do you live at your parents house and yes i live at my parents house i used to not live at my parents house i used to be in university and i lived by myself for three years so it's definitely a big big change coming back and living with my parents i'm hoping to move out within the year or in a year or so just gonna save a bunch of money and and move to a nice place with my boyfriend, Nolan. You guys know Nolan, or if you don't, definitely go check out my latest vlogs. You'll see him in there. But yeah, that is basically the plan. So unfortunately, I still live with my parents. I mean, I love them. They help me out a lot. I just, I like living alone, especially when you've lived alone for the longest time. Okay, the next question, F My Soul asked, how do you thrift so well and what made you decide to be a Depop seller? So thrifting so well, I think it's probably a, the area, the time that I go, I'm not really sure. I guess I go anytime really, but I guess the biggest thing is that I go a lot and I also search through everything every single time. Even if I was there the day before, I will still research through everything. I think that's the biggest thing that people um, forget to do is go through everything. 
Um, and if you're not finding something consistently at a certain thrift store, maybe just go to a different thrift store, honestly. I don't know, just go to different ones, change it up, and go consistently. And what made you decide to be a Depop seller? I never, ever in a million years intended to be a Depop seller. Like, it wasn't like when I started my YouTube channel, I was like, okay, in two years, I will have a Depop and be successful on Depop. No, I never, ever thought that they would cross paths in any which way. Like, when I started selling on Depop, I think I had, like, 5,000 subscribers, like, four months ago or something, five months ago now. Um, five, maybe not even 5,000. I don't know how many, but I... I started my Depop because I thought that, like, because I needed money and I really just didn't think my YouTube was going to be doing that. Like, it wasn't that great. Like, I had 5,000 subscribers at the time. Like, I was just, like, doing it for fun still. And I really did not want to have a part-time job. So I was like, I'm going to sell on Depop. And then I never expected them to cross cross paths whatsoever. I guess it, it just all kind of fell into my lap at the same time, which I'm really, really lucky about. And the next question, Tatiana R. asked, have you considered considered hiring an assistant or pairing up with someone in the US to help you with your business. So I live in Canada. I don't know if you meant like pairing up with someone like across this, the border to do, um, to work on my um, business with, but not really unless I got like a manager or something like that, which a few people have reached out to me, but I'm just not sure if I want to do that type of thing yet. So when I pair up with somebody with my business, I'm definitely, definitely 110% going to be hiring a personal assistant within the next one or two years. I just have to move out first is the biggest thing. My parents don't necessarily want somebody to be in the house, which I understand. I I get it um, which is why I really need to move out because I need to this is kind of like holding my business back a bit I feel like I feel like if I had some more hands on deck and my parents help me out a lot yes they help me out a ton but there's certain things that they necessarily can't do they're busy sometimes so having a personal assistant would help me so much so that is one of the biggest reasons why I want to move out is to really start to like take my business to the next level okay, the next question is from Shelby Hong Ho Min and she asks what are your thoughts on going back to school so I've been thinking about going back to school recently and it's not actually to be at school if that makes sense like I don't really care about the schoolwork um, for those of you who do not know I was actually a varsity basketball player in university and it's something that I was really passionate about something that I've been doing since I was literally five years old and this is the first year that I am not playing basketball. I played three years at Brock University in Canada and usually you play four or five years and I missed it. I missed it a lot, especially at the beginning. I never wanted to talk about it with anybody. I, was, I had like nightmares, like it was like kind of messed up, honestly. Um, I never thought it would be that bad. I've been talking again with another coach at a different school that I kind of might play, go to school again. I don't really know if it's the best idea because I know that my business and my YouTube will suffer a lot and I don't know, don't really know if I want to take that risk. I would live in the city, which I would be totally okay with, but if I was to commute, I would definitely not do it. So there's a lot of thinking that has to be go into actually going back to school or not. So I haven't quite decided yet whether or not I want to go back to school. But it's kind of a thought. It's still there. But if it wasn't for basketball, I don't think I would go back to school. Um, I would probably take online courses and maybe finish the degree that I'm in that I had already taken a few, like three years worth of courses in and probably finish it. But that probably wouldn't be for a few years anyways. Um, I think having a degree is good. I don't think it's necessary though. I think that you can easily find your way without a degree. So you can always go to school, but you can never have a good opportunity twice, if that makes sense. Like if you, ha you need to grab opportunities when they arise because you never know if you'll have that opportunity again. Next question is from Crisp0NG and she asked, how would you describe your style and how do you find good finds at the thrift? So I kind of already answered how to find good finds, but describing my style, it's definitely like fun, different, and I just wear what I like. I love colors. I love sequins. I love sparkles. I love anything that's very loud and extra and I also love wearing a black and white outfit too. I just like what I like. I like to wear it. Every style, if I like something, I will wear it. I don't necessarily like to define my style because I like to wear everything pretty much. Okay, n.ymphh asked, was there a point where you ever wanted to give up at 
any time. So there's definitely days where I'm just like, this is hella stressful, so much shipping to do, I have so much videos to film, but then I kind of like bring myself back to what I am doing and I realize that I am so blessed with what the opportunities that I have and why wouldn't I work hard at this? So many people would die to have what I'm doing or to do what I'm doing right now and sometimes you forget that when you are like stressed out and you get a little caught up. I don't think there's ever been a time where I necessarily wanted to give up on YouTube because I never thought that my YouTube would be here. So I never, like the first couple years, it wasn't like I was really trying, not the first couple years, this is like my second year, but the first year I was never really trying to like make it big, if that makes sense. Like it was just a hobby. I never told anybody. I posted like a video like once every month or so. Okay, Jack underscore four asks, how did you start on YouTube? And would you collab with any other YouTubers and who would you collab with if you could? So I actually started on YouTube two years ago. I was in my second year of university or yeah, two years ago now, I guess. I was in my second year of university and the summer before that, I actually worked at a bank, a nine to five job at the bank. And that's when I first created my channel. I never posted any content on it, but that's when I created my channel. And I was working a nine to five job and it was awful. I was like, I cannot do this. This is killing my creativity. Like this is, this is awful. The school year started, I was like, okay, like I can get back into the role of things. Like I'm back in school, I have basketball again, I'll be fine. But in November, a couple months went by in November and I was like, I still, I'm in a, I was in a very, very dark place. I felt like my creativity was just crushed. Like I had, like I was so like lost and I hated school. Basketball was just not good. Everything was just not what it was supposed to be like. And I was really sad all the time, honestly. I wouldn't go to class. I just didn't want to be there. I just didn't know where I wanted to be. I felt really lost. And that's when I started making YouTube videos. And that's, if you look at my old YouTube videos, like the couple first ones, if they're still there, you can see how sad I was in my eyes. And it's kind of like heartbreaking when I watch it. I just want to be like, everything's going to be okay. Um, Elizabeth underscore Han asked, are names you like for your future children? Have you thought about having children yet? No, I have not thought about having children yet. I'm only 21. I don't want a child for at least another five, six years or so. I, I think I definitely want one, um, but not right now. That's for sure. Okay, Guadalupe Cindy asks, where do you see yourself in five years and what is your favorite part of your job and career? In five years, I definitely see myself having my own online store. I love Depop and I love reselling, but eventually I want to move over and have my own retail store and actually have my own clothing line. That is definitely something that I want to work toward. I also see myself still, still being a YouTuber. I love doing YouTube. I love the process of it. I love everything about doing YouTube. I still am going to be thrifting 100%. I mean, nothing's changed the last 10 years so I don't think it will change within the next five years. I also want to start a blog. I want to start to do some blogging and writing a little bit more. Sydney Belvado asked if you weren't doing Depop and what would you be doing instead? What was your major in college? So I would probably still be in school unfortunately and I majored in sport management which is kind of like business and sport and how to run a sport organization. There's actually like a lot of things that you can you can actually go into from having a sport management degree because it is also a business degree. I kept with that degree, there's literally nothing that I would have wanted to do with that degree other than I would probably be working at a bank. So I would probably be working at a bank too. I would still be in school right now if I did drop out. I'd probably still be playing basketball. I would probably be still hating my life. <laughs> okay, Chloe.sap asked, if you could eat only one food forever, what would it be and why? 100% gnocchi. I love gnocchi. Like, <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next question. Lex Meese asked, if you could live anywhere besides Canada, where would you live? Definitely in like Los Angeles or New York or in the big city. I know a lot of YouTubers will migrate out to like Los Angeles or Toronto or New York. And it's true, you just kind of, if you're in this type of business, like especially like the fashion industry, a lot of events happen in those cities or even like Miami, a lot of events happen in those cities and a lot of big things, like a lot of YouTubers live 
of there, so you could do a lot of collabs, um, a lot of management runs out of there, so if you have a manager, you'd be working. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers move to Los Angeles for these reasons, so if I could live anywhere, it'd probably be LA. I've heard a lot of bad things about LA, and I've also heard a lot of good things. Some people hate it, some people love it. I guess it depends on the person that you are. Okay, and the next question is, Artel, Artelier2001 asked, how did you and Nolan meet? When did you know you loved him? So we met in university, we both played on um, the varsity basketball teams and that's kind of how we met. Um, when did I know I loved him? I don't know, it was so long ago. That was like three, four years ago now. So like we've been dating for over three years. So I really don't even know, like I can't even remember. Like I feel like I've always loved him. Like he's always just been in my soul, I feel. That's really deep, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I don't know, he's like my best friend. So I love him, I've always loved him. Okay, and the last question, Marm it Ijar asked, are you a dog or a cat person? I actually have two dogs and one cat. And I love all animals, but I'm definitely a dog person over a cat person, which my cat would be so pissed right now if she heard me say that. But I just love dogs. I love how like loyal they are and how much fun they are. Cats just kind of like go off on their own and do their own thing. I love dogs so much. Like my dogs are like my my everything. So that concludes this q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little bit different. I don't usually do Q&As that often. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 7. Watching, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!